guys, in this video I'm going to walk through the steps for homework number 22. So this includes um, fitting a simple linear regression and uh, looking at a residual plot. So uh, the first step is to get a sample of a random sample of 10 cases from the data set and delete unselected cases uh, and then also um, delete the unused variables. So in SPSS, I've already deleted the unused variables. So now I'm going to draw the sample. So go to data, uh, select cases, random sample, sample exactly 10 from the first 1,000, and then say delete unselected cases. Bam. So now um, these 10 rows represent the 10 cases that were randomly selected from the original 1,000 cases. Uh, so you can use the values, uh, the scores on homework 22x and homework 22y to fill in this table. Um, as usual, you need the SPSS to receive any credit. Uh, and you also need um, to include the random seed syntax. Um, which is this line here. That's, that says you set the random number generator index um, to a particular value that you entered when you set the random number generator index. Um, and you also need a screenshot of the data. Hold off on taking a screenshot until a few steps later when we create a column of um, the residuals. Uh, and then as usual, show your work for the by hand parts of the homework. So the first three questions ask for things that you can get from the output of running a linear regression in SPSS. So the regression equation, uh, Pearson's R and R squared. So I'm going to get those right now. Uh, to do though, to, to get those, you can say analyze uh, regression linear. Um, y is the dependent variable. X is the independent variable. Uh, and I'm also going to save unstandardized residuals uh, because we need these for later in the homework. Uh, so once you've specified the model that you want to fit, you can say OK. And um, the model summary table will give you R and R square. Uh, the ANOVA table will give you some of the squares for your model uh, sum of squared error or sum of squared residual and sum of squared total, which is sum of squares y. And the coefficients table will give you um, the a and b for your model equation. So in the model equation, or the model equation is y hat equals a plus b times x. Uh, this constant in the coefficients table is your a and i. Uh, the b coefficient on homework 22x is your b. And that's what we need um, from the regression output. So let's see. What's the regression equation? Just plug in the a and b from the output. Uh, actually, for this first part, do the work by hand. And then in the output, it'll be the coefficients for the constant and for the um, homework 22x variable. What is Pearson's r? I find it in the output, and what is r squared? I find it in the output. Uh, so again, for this first point, find these things by hand, and in the output, they'll be in that model summary table. And then the next part is to sketch a scatter plot by hand and, and sketch the fitted line, and then also to create this in SPSS. So to create this in SPSS, go to um, graphs, legacy dialogs, scatter slash dot, simple scatter, define uh, y on the y-axis, x on the x-axis, and that's all you need. This will create the scatter plot, and then once you have the scatter plot, um, you can double click it and uh, click this uh, add fit line 
at total button to add the regression line. And that will add, it'll impose the line on the plot and it will also tell you the model equation along with um, R square for this model. Uh, so here it is in the output. When you exit out of that chart editor window, it'll automatically update the chart in the output. And that takes care of number four. Number five, um, attach a screenshot of residuals. So here it uh, shows why um, your predicted values, which are y hat, uh, and then the residuals, which are the observed minus predicted. Um, and so in SPSS, I showed you guys how to get the residuals. That would be this column here. Um, and so this is everything that should be included in the screenshot of your data that you turn in along with your homework. Uh, and then that's also enough information to fill in the y's and the y minus y hat. Uh, of course you should get these two things by hand and then use the SPSS output to double check your work for these residuals. Uh, number six, um, sketch the residual plot and then also create it using SPSS. Uh, so and to do this in SPSS, you can say graphs, legacy dialogs, scatter slash dot, a simple scatter, define. This time, instead of having y on the y-axis, we're going to plot the independent variable, or we're going to plot the unstandardized residuals against the independent variable. So... This is a residual plot. Uh, and what we're looking for here is essentially no discernible pattern. They should be these points which represent the unstandardized residuals um, as a function of the independent variable should be um, evenly dispersed around zero. And that seems to be the case here. Uh, if we saw, you know, an inverted U, um, or if we saw a U shape, uh, or if we saw some kind of line with a, a non-zero slope, um, or if we saw something kind of logarithmic or something exponential, any of those shapes would suggest um, transforming the x variable. And then step seven is explain what residuals are. So residuals are the difference between um, the observed value and the expected value of the thing that we're trying to estimate. Uh, they're, they're useful for model diagnostics. So like I said, with those residual plots, if you see some kind of pattern, then um, it would suggest changing uh, or doing a transformation on the X variable doing a nonlinear transformation on the x variable. Um, and, you know, some kind of explanation like that should be good enough. Uh, and that's it for homework 22. Good luck.